And it's going to be Arsenal who gets us underway here at the Lee Sports Village. United instantly putting the pressure on theirs. Hansen just on the back of Schneiderbeck. Here's Badger to Ladd. Sends it back to Turner. Finds Hansen. He gets the ball taken away from it. And Arsenal have possession, but Ella Toon does well to get it back. Hansen stays on her feet, and Ladd will send it back to Turner. Yeah, it's interesting watching this. I think traditionally when you play against Arsenal, the experience that I've always had against them is they always seem that they've got extra numbers in the midfield. They always seem when they're attacking, they attack with so many players and so many numbers. Yet today, it doesn't seem like they've got that extra body in there. It seems like United are kind of outnumbering them and it, it's, it's great for United and it, it, it's great that the opportunity that they've got here to get a great result. But it's interesting because Arsenal have got fantastic players, but they don't seem to be kind of commanding or dominating games at the moment. Well, how about that for a touch from Tobin Heath, who just had to control the ball that was quite high in the air, and Kristen Press will try and take a shot as she turned and tried to make it on the volley, but it was quite a difficult position to be at. It does go over the net, but it was a good chance for United there. Well, that would have been a fantastic goal. Goal of the, goal of the season already written out for you. Um, but yeah, it's great to see them getting into opportunities and, and taking chances. It's not an easy shot at all, like you said but it shows the confidence that the team have got in each other to, to take those snapshots, to take those opportunities and to threaten Arsenal's goal. Well, Ruben Moy just picked up that ball for Arsenal. Send it back to her captain, Leo Valti. But it is United that pick it up on the edge of the box. Chance for Hansen, try to do a volley, but here's press for United, sends it through, but... Great block there by Zinsberg, who is absolutely enraged by her Arsenal defenders. But that was another great chance for her. Yeah, it was. It's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. I think people sometimes don't give credit when it's due enough, when, it, when it's a foot save. But yeah, great save. Did really well and a great snapshot from Kristen Press. And that's what we want to see more of. We want to see the goalkeeper having to make saves. Obviously, you'd prefer it to go in the back of the net. But if you're challenging and working the goalkeeper, then, then it's, it's more of a positive. And here's Heath now for United, striding run through, gets the better of a couple of players and a lovely shot just on that near side. Doesn't quite get it past, but that was really good play from Tobin Heath with a super long run as well. It was, I thought she took like just one extra touch, I thought maybe there before she took that touch she could have released it and, and got her shot away. Um, I think it enabled the goalkeeper to get set, the angle narrowed down slightly, but fantastic opportunity and great to be back in those, those positions and threatening that back line. Although United doing really well every time Arsenal do get in possession to take it away from them. And here's Jess Sigsworth. We know how fast she is and she can get the better here. And can she take the goalkeeper on? She's in space. Ella Toon is there, takes a chance. In it goes. Back of the net. Ella Toon finds the goal for United. And they finally break the deadlock. And look at all the players surrounding her. That was a brilliant goal from Ella Toon. Just slides it into the bottom corner. And United take the lead. It's United 1, Arsenal 0. Oh, it's a fantastic finish from Ella Toon. Great speed, great work rate from Jess Sigsworth. And I said before, we want to see Ella Toon higher up the pitch. It's where she's been dangerous so far this season. And it's where she's going to score goals. And, and she, she's done that. I think for me, the most important part here is Amy Turner. I think she comes in front foot defending again. I know I've said it a few times, but the ball's going into Miedemar. She comes in front foot defends, gets the ball off her and enables this attack to start. And if you can defend well from the back, it gives you so many more opportunities. And it's not necessarily something that will normally get picked up because people focus on who scores the goals. But yet she's been fantastic. So, Casey, you referred to your substitutes as game changers, and they certainly were that today. Yeah, absolutely. And we said beforehand that it would take everybody. We knew, obviously, Arsenal were a good side. We're going to have to use a lot of energy pressing and trying to win the ball back. And the players that come on today were outstanding. Lots of chances for your side. Was it starting to feel that maybe it wouldn't be our day at one point? Yeah, you, you, you start to feel like that. But, you know, having talked to... Yeah, actually, it was Kristen Press, actually, that made me think differently about chances. And actually, by having chances, we're getting closer to scoring. And I felt like, OK, if we just keep the mindset that we're closer to scoring, keep going, keep doing the right things and keep defending really well. And I have to say, I thought defensively from front to back and back to front today, we were outstanding. 
I thought we were worthy of the win. So, Tooney, as, go, as goals go, where does that rank for you? Oh, that's up there with one of the best ones, I think. Just because we worked so hard, I think we deserved that. We deserved the three points and whoever scored, it was going to be an amazing, amazing goal. And yeah, we're all buzzing and we worked hard for each other today. So, Jess, we referred to our substitutes as game changers today and you certainly were that, weren't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think everyone on the bench is always ready when they're called upon, you know, to change the game. And we train so hard all week in training. The starting 11 do amazing. And then when we're called upon, we just give it our all and hopefully change the game back today.